Hi guys, in this tutorial we're gonna create this Ray-Ban class from the scratch and this time we have a little bit more references as you see we have these references to see from the 45 degree angle and we also have this one to see from the side to create this part of the image the model and also we have this front image from which we start our modeling process so let's see what is the resolution of the image and it's 13 to 25 and 745 so let's create our plane and make it the size right size don't be afraid if it's too large we don't care so much about this so let's drag and drop this image to our plane and let's move it a little bit back okay and uh, we can freeze it From right click object properties uncheck this tick box show frozen in gray and click this freeze then press ok now we can select this model but we can still see it so let's start the modeling process if you want you can press G and get rid of the grid and okay now let's create this start creating so we're gonna create this entire model from the plane let's create first one and press F4 to see the edges and let's get rid of these extra segments and convert it to editable poly and let's press edge and start to make our model let's press shift and drag and let's position it correctly okay <coughs> oh, sorry. let's first create the draft and then we're gonna fix our model later Okay. So there is no special rule here. We're just trying to move it through the glass topology. And when we need more details, we can create smaller ones. And when we don't need any details, it's like really straight. We can make it a little bit far. Let's scale it a little bit more. And now let's bridge. Okay we can actually move it a little bit higher and create this part from these two edges let's make it two edges now let's adjust our edges to make it right okay now let's create this part okay but this part needs to be little, needs to go a little bit back because as you see it from here
this part needs to go a little bit back and we shift drag it back again and move it really back like this <coughs> I'm sorry now let's add the turbo smooth to see how it looks oh, it looks not so bad and let's but it lacks the thickness so we need to create uh, add the shell modifier to it and before the turbo smooth let's add the thickness okay it's something like this uh, we can actually move it a little bit to front to see clearly what happens okay and in order to keep these parts straight we can add extra segments to the shell modifier and now let's add turbo smooth okay it looks good now what we need to do is to make it like okay first let's add the symmetry modifier uh, before this shell so let's go to the modifiers and add symmetry and let's move the symmetry to the left let's adjust it from here okay now we can fix the wrong parts here let's press this vertex button and press this show in the results to see how it affects our model so we can move our vertices and see the results okay Good. Okay. Good. Okay. We can add even two edges here because it's a little bit rounded, but our model is like really a mm, little bit more straight. So let's double click to this edge and chamfer it. Let's separate it a little bit. Okay, and let's move this where it is to what like to the left. Let's see end result. Okay, and now as you see it's a little bit more straight. Okay. We can adjust this where just a little bit more. Okay. And if you look to this part, it's a little bit more to the back. Because this part goes to the back a little bit more, like this. And also, the entire frame is a little bit bended, and this part moves to the front. So let's take these two edges, two vertices, and move a little bit further. Or maybe not. Let's move this a little bit to the right and let's move this edge this vertices to front like this and maybe like this and maybe we can add extra edge here to make it right so let's add one edge and create it like this and then move right but well, it's too much i think so let's move this a little bit back and let's move it a little bit to right okay it's not so good let's change something let's move it to front okay now we got something 
we can work with. Okay. So let's select all these vertices and add a 15 modifier to it. Now we can control it through these vertices. So let's press and select all of these and let's move it a little bit forward or maybe let's select this too and move it a little bit back. Let's make it so that it's a little bit rounded. Like this. We can even move it back a little bit and like this. Even we can select all of this except these ones and move it back. A little bit forward, a little bit more forward. Okay, I guess this is exactly what we need to have. Okay. Good, now we need to create this part. For this, we just <coughs> need to put this image into our 2D Max. And now let's look at the resolution. Now we need to create this big plane and drop this image to this plane. So let's create plane from the left viewport. And now let's adjust it's 1300. 1300 to 624 okay now let's drag this image okay and now let's adjust the size because we need to make our first this part okay this we need it to have this peak Actually, we can adjust our model from this left angle too. So let's select our model. Let's first let's make it the size right. Let's move our pivot to the front in order to be able to scale from here. Now let's scale. Okay. Good. Now let's adjust. Let's press F F T and select this part and move it back and let's press this part and move it to front okay good and now let's select this part and move it to back like this okay now we got right I need to adjust a little bit this part okay and let's fix it again a little bit to front okay we also need to adjust these parts mm -hmm. good we also maybe need to adjust let's turn off this symmetry and all these modifiers above now let's convert it to editable maybe let's collapse or maybe add editable poly modifier it's poly modifier and now let's adjust the vertices make it a little bit smaller and move it to back okay we can move our plane exactly to the right to see what happens here let's press alt x to be able to see through <coughs> through our model and we need to move it until here okay now we need to create this part okay so let's add symmetry and let's add another editable poly after symmetry 
or maybe let's collapse this collapse to press yes so we don't have any more modifiers here let's turn off shell in order to make to be able to work with this um, object without any sickness so let's shift and drag let's press F4 okay let's shift drag let's scale it a little bit more shift drag let's like this and now let's make it a little bit smaller okay now as we see it it goes to the, to the right now let's go to the front and adjust the handle from the left from this front view so let's select first let's detach our object to make it separate let's split and select this part and detach to make it separate object let's make it full now let's press alt x to make it visible again and now let's select this model object and add fft now let's select it and move it to inside Okay, let's unfreeze all objects and move it to back okay and now <coughs> we don't need to put it to top because it's this image has perspective we don't need it we just need the position to the right okay so I guess we got something about right but let's come out to a little poly again and let's adjust it a little bit more because what we need need to have this part to be a little bit more right okay okay now we got it Now let's convert it to a visible poly. Let's press Alt X. Let's add the shell modifier. Okay. Now let's add turbo smooth modifier. Okay. First we need to make it this part to straight. That's why we need to add extra edge near to this border okay we need to do the same with this object press edge let's add another edge here okay and we also need to fix this part let's take this vertices move it like to right and let's adjust the position Okay. Good. Actually, we don't need to add these extra segments, like three segments. It's better to add one and then add edit poly and then double click to it and let's make it chamfer 
but we need to separate it from each other a little bit more. Let's bring turbo smooth on and now you see it's a little bit more straight. Okay, we can do the same with this object, but actually it's better to have it smooth. Okay. Now let's adjust, let's create these parts, like these parts. Okay, and this part. Okay, now let's add a box. Let's add it from here. And now let's convert it to a tool poly. Let's bring it up. Let's adjust the vertices. And let's move it to its place. And we need to make it like this. And in order to do this, we need to add extra edges. Let's add three edges and let's move the vertices as we need and I guess it goes through to this place We add some extra edges here. Let's add two. Okay. Close a little bit more. And we also have these screws here. <coughs> we also need to create this black area here. Let's hide or let's not. Let's turn them off. Press Let's duplicate this object. Let's clone, press copy, and then delete these modifiers and let's delete everything right from here. And now we can hide this part and see what we need to have. Okay, let's we can delete these verses too. Let's move it here. Let's move it a little bit back. Let's and let's scale it down. Like this. like this okay now let's add shell to see how it looks oh, it looks terrible now let's unhide our object now let's press alt x and Make it fully visible. Now let's isolate all these objects. And now let's adjust 
in the basis of our newly created model. Okay. Now let's end this light and let's adjust first this model to be right size. Okay. Now let's press Alt X or maybe hide. Actually, we have our model in the right place. So let's press Alt X and add the color. I need to change this versus and move it like this. Or this part little bit more and these top vertices like this one a little bit more okay so let's add turbo smooth see how it looks it looks not so bad but we need to add extra edges here in order to keep it the shape in order to keep shape right Okay, let's select this and press ring. Let's add edge close to this border, not this close. And let's do the same with this back part. Okay. Now let's duplicate. Let's make it centered. Let's move it to right. Okay, or we can make it instance like this. We can move it a little bit inside. Okay. And let's change the color to black. Let's now add this part. Let's see how it looks. It's basically the spline coming here and this glassy part here. Okay, let's see if there any place we can see it better. Okay, it's something like this like this cross here and okay good let's create this part first okay let's change the color to something bright to see it clearly okay now let's add our spline okay Let's add our spline from this viewport. Let's draw something like this. Okay, and let's press this button to make it visible. And let's make it rectangular. Okay, let's decrease the interpolation steps because we're gonna make it turbo smooth anyway so we don't need it to be 
too much polygons here. Okay, let's do it like this. Maybe let's remove this extra polygons. Control backspace. Let's remove this one too. Okay. And when you create something from the spline, you have extra edge here from the beginning or from at the end. So let's remove it. Okay, let's move it closer to this place. And now let's add these parts like two parts here and one from here okay so let's select this part and this part and press extrude let's watch the game and then extrude again and or maybe not like extrude it more and then extrude it like this extrude. okay let's add turbo smooth to see how it looks like okay it's basically what we want so let's select these polygons and scale it so that it looks like rounded from center okay and we can do the same with these vertices scale it make it close to each other <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry now let's do the same with this part let's move it like this let's extrude Let's extrude this way. Extrude. Okay. Now we can make it look like round. We can add extra edges here. Okay. Good. We can add, select this edge and create ring, and add like two edges. Now add through smooth to see how it looks. It looks good. Okay. We can make it look like circle from here too. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. So we have something like this. And as you see, it's like turned a little bit to this way. So let's go like this and let's rotate it like our glass now we need to add this cylindrical part and the part like this and then we attach this glass object to this cylinder for this we let's create the cylinder and let's scale it like this and let's rotate it and let's bring it to here and rotate it like this and move a little bit forward and let's decrease the sides to 16 because it's divisible by 4 let's 
get rid of this extra segment and now let's convert it to editable poly let's take this part and press inset okay and let's press inset another time okay so what we need to have like a, another cylinder here which holds from this part of this model so let's take these polygons and these polygons and we can extrude it uh, we can even select these edges and move it up like this and this edge is we do exact same thing with these edges and move it down okay and we can move entire object a little bit up okay and as we select this object let's extrude it again but this time a little bit less let's position it correctly and now let's move these inside edges back like this and now let's move these side edges side vertices a little bit closer like this now let's select the polygons again and press bridge and maybe bring in, bring them closer and then press bridge okay now we got exactly what we wanted let's position these edges turbo smooth okay we got what we need maybe we need to make it shorter let's position this let's first select all these vertices and make it up okay something like this let's make it a little bit shorter and let's add inset okay now let's create this big glass I think let's create it from the box and let's position this correctly and let's add extra edges like one edge now let's make turbo smooth to see how it works okay it works good and now let's add one extra edge to this middle part okay now it will be fine let's move it closer okay we got what we want okay now let's make it group Alright, okay, let's add first materials so this is black this is glossy black also this is the glossy black and let's make it centered we vote and let's delete the polygons which is which goes inside the object now let's add turbo smooth okay good and this is the glossy black and let's duplicate and this is matte black and this frame is matte black too 
<coughs> this is glass something like glass at least and this is metal metal so let's make it group and duplicate and let's add mirror okay and let's duplicate this part and let's make it group let's move it to right let's make mirror okay let's move like this a little bit more okay now what we need is have glasses like these glass parts that's why we select all these borders and scale but not from center we select the first one and then shift drag and make it several times okay and collapse at the last one and then let's double click to this part and press split and then select these parts and detach okay now let's add the glass material to this object and then add shell but make it a little bit less like seven and then add extra segments like four and then add two as well now as we see we got great looking glass but it's too smooth from the borders in order to fix it let's add extra edges to the sides so let's ring and add make it 95 okay so we got great looking glass we can make it a little bit other way so let's make it colored to see what happens there and then let's select this center polygon and press polygon and make it grow grow and move it forward a little bit then shrink and move it forward and then shrink move it forward so it looks like a lens and then make turbo smooth okay guys and now we got this problematic part of our glass so to fix it we need to change the topology and make it something like we select these polygons and maybe we just delete these parts and even these parts okay it's good so we just hit cap and to see what happens and it still happens to here in order to fix it we need to attach it manually delete this part like select this 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 and hit bridge maybe we can do the same with this polygons hit bridge and now let's see how many edges we have one two three four five six seven so we don't attach anything to here because we need to have rectangle so we don't count this and this so one two three four five so let's add five edges here okay and make it like this and move it a little bit up okay like this so we 
for each this one to this one this to this like that's for each now we need to move a little bit down and now we so let's reach this one to this and then let's cap up and then let's bridge this, this, this to this, this to this. Let's bridge, and now we have one left. So let's maybe delete this control backspace and then move like this and then move it like this and then move it like this so we have something to bridge with okay so let's select all this and press bridge and then press 3 and cap okay now if we add to shell and turbo smooth it will be much more smoother but we need to fix these problematic parts so let's isolate and turn off this shell and turbo smooth and let's see what we have problematic here so let's select these polygons <coughs> sorry and press grow and let's move it forward and let's shrink let's move it forward too a little bit okay but first let's see how it looks okay it looks not so bad but we still have these parts left so let's select these edges and then see end result let's get rid of these edges and let's move it forward okay now it looks a little bit more right and this part this 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 we can even select all this inside our inside vertices and press relax to see how it works those relax make them smoother let's relax mm -hmm. it looks good it really looks good now what we need is to add FFT modifier and okay not to this then we after realize we add edit poly modifier and then let's delete this lower left one and then let's add a 50 modifier and move this middle part to front like this okay let's move it under the shell let's add shell and turbo smooth and it looks great okay let's end the light and let's duplicate it to left press shift and drag and mirror
okay so we got one nice ray band so let's hide these reference images and see how our glass looks like so it looks really good so see you again in the next tutorial thank you for watching